everyone, it's Kelsey here. Today my Studio Calico kit arrived. And as always, it arrived right before I had to go to work, so I didn't have a chance to open it up. <laughs> it's not the way it always goes. So, it's actually been here since about 1.30, and now it's about 10.30 because by the time I got off work, I had to rush home, eat supper, and then I have a card club that I go to. So... That was a lot of fun, but it ran a little bit late tonight, and so I've just been like so eager to get home to my goodies. Okay, let's start with the extra stuff that I got. So, I finally caved and bought the Mint Hint Color Theory Dye Ink. Um, I just... I have wanted this one for a really long time, and I just never ended up buying it, but yeah, I'm really glad that I went for it. And it does remind me a lot of the new Cracked Pistachio color from Tim Holtz, um, which is like a Distress Ink, not a dye ink, so I might end up getting the Distress Ink in the future, but I really like this color. I like the way the color theories all stamp out. And I really love the, like, pure color of them. So I am excited to have this one, even if I do get the cracked pistachio in the future. Alright, then I got these vellum leaves. Which, I didn't, I wasn't going to spend any at all this month. But, except for the paper pad. But then, I don't know, I just decided to get it. Um, I decided to spend some of my Studio Calico points, and I am glad that I did because these feathers are actually really pretty. They're prettier in person, I think. I know these were a really hot item in one of the recent kits. It was like the scrapbook kit, and they're just really, really pretty. I like the colors. They're very soft. And actually, the vellum is pretty sturdy. It's kind of surprising. So, And you get two of each. And I think they were only like $3.99, which I thought was a good deal. So, two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen leaves. So, and they're a little bit varying in sizes and shapes. So, I just think they're really pretty. I'm excited to have those. And I think one of these could work in like a Project Life layout, like in a maybe like a clear pocket. So, there's that. Okay, then let me find a piece of paper so you guys can actually see this. Hold on a second. Okay. This is the transparency pad. Whoops. So... You guys cannot even see that. So hold on, let me find a piece of colored paper. Okay, hopefully, yeah, you can see a little bit better on that. So that's pineapples. This is like the maker's transparency set, I think they called it. Maybe that's just one. No, it's two. Okay, so on that one, it's going to be hard to read. It says Maker's going to make. And then on that one, whoops, it says Woohoo with stars. Um, that one just lines, scribbly lines. This one's got little plus signs at the bottom. Sorry that this is kind of hard to see on camera. Maybe I should try this. There we go. This one I really like. I just love all the different, um, like, crafting things. And I really like that they include, like, um, a needle and thread, paint, safety pins, because... Making is so much more than just scrapbooking or just sewing or um, 
just project life. It's so much, like, every little thing you do around the house, you know, if you make something for your home, if you sew something, if you paint something, that's art. That's making something. It's crafting. So, anyway, focus on the good. I really like that because that's one of my one little words for the year, so I'll probably definitely save that for my one little word album. That one looks like it's a cut apart with two different triangles. Love that. Okay, another cut apart with glasses on one side, which would also be good for my focus word. And then this says, too many ideas, not enough time. And this transparency pad, again, it was, I mean, I think it was fairly reasonably priced. Um, be true, stay wonderful. And then it just repeats it all along there. Um, but I did really like this transparency pad. This actually was the only thing that I bought at first. And then I decided to go ahead and get the paper pad as well. Creativity is intelligence having fun. Albert Einstein. But I really like this transparency set. I haven't bought any transparency sets recently. Um, it's normally not my thing. I don't like overlays. I Okay, I take that back. I love overlays. I just never know what to do with them. But I just love this stamp set and just the little maker's things that went along with it. So I had to get the transparency set. I wish I would have got the stamp set, so I hope it's available at a later time. Proof that today happened, and then buttons and thread, and needles, safety pins, super cute. And two more. Wow, you get a lot of transparencies in the set. I think it was $8.99. I want to say it was $8.99. Make stuff. I really like that. And the last piece says party, 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 <laughs> obviously. Okay, so that took a little bit longer than I expected it to, just because I had to show all that. So, oh my gosh, the paper pad this month, month is huge. Like, that's, that's a lot thicker than my last one. That's the only thing I don't like about the paper pads, is that they seem... Some months, you get a lot more paper than others, it feels like. This one has only 17, and I think that's what my last month had, but sometimes they put two. I, I don't know, but this feels a lot thicker. Okay, so tiny little black polka dot. I really like this plus sign paper. This one. I honestly didn't love this paper pad as well as some of the other ones, but um, I I liked some of the patterns well enough. I really like that one. And these, this album is so thick, the papers are falling out as I'm flipping through. Map paper. I don't really love that one. 2015. I really like this triangle paper. This, like, it's like a deep blue, but it's got some green hint to it. Diagonal. Some circles. A yellow diagonal. A little, um, like, Native American inspired pattern. A bunch of numbers. Pink polka dots. Yellow polka dots. An orange stripe. I like that. Like the it's kind of like a paint splatter negative kind of. I don't know. And then that one in that color is even prettier. And then it just repeats. So but I mean all of these papers just literally are trying to pull out. Um so maybe the paper is thicker this month. It's just really high quality. Anyway, I'm really happy with that. And then I'll show this. This is the Maker's card set. Pretty sure. <laughs> it's been a while. Okay, 
make something today. I just love that big, bold print. I really think I might want to like frame that or put it in a mini album or put it on a 12 by 12 layout. That probably won't make it into my project life. I am a maker. I love that one. I don't know if you guys ever read Elise Blaha Kripe's blog. Um, I will try to remember to link it up in the description below. But I, she is, her tagline, one of her taglines is, I make stuff like it's my job. Um, and she just, she's got a really interesting blog and I just love reading her stuff. And one of the things that she talks about um, on like a semi-regular basis, I've heard her say it several times, is like saying, I am a maker. Like she's like... You have to believe it. You have to really say it. You can come out there and say, I am an artist. I am a writer. I am a maker. And I love that she's so bold and empowering about that. So anyway, so I really like that card. Creativity is intelligence having fun. And I love the photo background. I don't love the flowers as much. You guys know I'm not a huge flower person. Um, but I just love like the paint in the background and whatnot. And you're actually going to be surprised because I hate flowers, but I actually have a layout that I did focusing on flowers. So that'll be coming up soon. Little pineapple. Pineapples must be like the new in thing. I don't think I'm going to be hopping on that train. But I said that about gold too. And now I'm firmly with gold, but I just don't get pineapples. I don't like pineapple as a food group either, or as a flavor. Um, so maybe that's my roadblock. Too many ideas, not enough time. I swear that could be like my my life motto. That one doesn't have a back. Make stuff. I love that little acrylic paint tube. So cute. A Sunday well spent brings a week of content. I really like that saying. So anyway, that's what those were the makers cards. And then because obviously I am on a photo overlay trend. These are my mind's eye on trend photo overlays. So that's these are these two are square. The best day our story. And then this so much from this week was a blast. Forever family together. And that one's um triangle pattern. So those three are three by four. And then gold arrows, like gems and diamonds. And the one that really got me was polka dots. Because I'm a huge polka dot fan. My husband, like literally whenever I'm picking anything out as a pattern or anything, he's like, yeah, you're going to go for the polka dots. I, I don't know why. I just love polka dots. So, kind of kind of a funny side note. I was trying to pick out, um, I am ordering some Jamberry nails. Like you can see, I've got some on today. And while I'm not 100% sure I love them, I'm not super good at getting all the bubbles out. I do really like them. So, I don't love them, but I like them. And um, I was trying to pick out, like, which jamborees I wanted to get. And my husband was like, well, you want these and these and these. And he, like, picked them out for me. And he picked exactly what I wanted. Isn't that kind of creepy when your husband knows you better than yourself? You know yourself. And I don't feel like I know him that well. So, anyway, kind of funny. So, this is obviously the main Project Life kit. It's called Odyssey. It's March 2015. And I love that they started putting a um, little biography like the of the featured artist of the month. So in this case, it's Peppermint Granberg Jones. So I will definitely be reading that, but I'd love that they feature one of their artists. All right, here we go. So first up, the main thing that I've heard about from this month is this um, day of the week roller stamp set. And to be honest, I wasn't entirely thrilled because I feel like I have a lot of date stamps. But then I was thinking I don't really. I have one that has day of this, days of the week on there. Um, and this one actually says. It's got the days of the week. But it also has today. 
um, morning, noon, night, 2015, here and now, Sunday. Um, that's kind of weird. You get two Sundays. So that says Sunday, and then it goes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, today, Saturday, Sunday. So I don't know why there's two Sundays. It's kind of irritating. Um, but yeah, I do kind of like the idea of the roller stamp. So then we got some washi tape. So other than that, I did not really see what came out this month. So this is going to be kind of new to me. Because I usually try to avoid looking at vlogs and the reveals too, too much. Some months it's harder than others. If it's got like a color palette that I really, really love, it's really hard to stay away. Ah. Someday I'm going to get this washi tape open and you guys are going to be able to see what it looks like. Okay, there we go. Looks like it's just numbers. So I do like it, but I don't love it because I'm not a huge orange person. But that's something you always risk because you don't want to put something out every month that's like blue or green. Um, you know, a very popular color. So even though orange isn't my favorite color, I do like that. Then we have, it looks like acrylic stars. Um, remember when Studio Calico used to send out sequins every single month? I feel like the acrylic shapes or stars are their new sequins. Because I feel like we've gotten stars a lot lately. Small stars, even. So, not super thrilled about those. Again, I don't love the color. I feel like it's weird to do like a blue acrylic star and then a bright orange washi. So, yeah. Okay. Letter stickers this month I really like. It's kind of it's kind of a bluey gray. So I do like those. Um no numbers again, but lots of extra symbols. So I do like that. And I like that you get an uppercase and a lowercase font. Okay, and then this is an ad for their Amelia collection and their Baxter collection, which is the new seven paper collections by Studio Calico. Um so I think Amelia is just like a girl, like there's a couple of different girl type themed, and then Baxter has dog themes and cat themes. I don't really like the style of it. I looked at it on a cherry on top, which has pre-orders right now, but I didn't love it. So um, it looks like we got a plastic shape, so that could be used as maybe like a mask or as a, um, you could just paint it and put it on something. I think I'll probably use it as a mask at least a couple times. Um, I think that would be fun to make a 3x4 filler card, but I can definitely see using this on my 12x12 12 12 layouts as well. Um, then we have a gold foil polka dot card. Or kind of polka dot. It's um, like wonky polka dots. And this says be present. I like both of those. And... Label stickers. Okay, so they've got a lot of days on here. It goes up to 32, which I really like. Um, so that could be maybe like a weekly, like if you were doing weeks, you, that could be like your week one, week four, what have you. So that's kind of cool. Um, I might chop some of the numbers off these and just use the rest as labels. So it's different. So far, I have to admit, I'm not loving this kit. I'm just not. Okay. Then, these are like chipboard stickers. So they punch out. I do like those. Again, I don't love the colors. So this color scheme this month just must not trip my trigger. <laughs> Um, and then on to the cards. So, so far I have to say I'm a little let down by this kit. I definitely 
I don't know. I like more of the stuff that I purchase separately than I do the stuff in the kit. Hopefully the cards will make up for that. Okay, so there's that patterned card that I really liked. So I, I'm glad they brought that back. And I do like that side as well. Um, I do like this. I love using these as like whenever I have like 10 short one sentence stories to tell in a week or in my case a month. So it's really nice to be able to just drop those down. Some polka dots. I like that. I like the cute little camera and I like the color on the edge. Blurg. <laughs> I do like that. I especially like that it's a pretty color with like a not so pretty or happy sentiment on there. And then this lemon paper, which is definitely from the Serendipity collection by Dear Lizzie. I do like that, but I don't love it. I'm such a downer today, guys. I'm so sorry, but <laughs> hopefully you guys like your kits more than I like mine. Okay, Dear Blank, Keep Being Awesome, Love Me. I like that card. I like that card as well. And I think it's cute that they put, like, you could put Celsius or Fahrenheit. Um, said no one ever. So you could, like, write a quote and then say said no one ever. That's cute. I can't even. That little circle pattern. It's, like, definitely a weird pattern. But I like it. A couple of map prints. I do like this um, like hash mark type card. Another glasses. I think that might be from the Dear Lizzie Serendipity line as well. Oh yeah. March. I really like that. That could be my title card since I'm doing it monthly now. You are my sun, my moon, and all of my stars. That's um, crepe paper. Kiss, kiss. And then on this side, it says star, sun, moon, stars, moon, stars, sun, moon. So it's like not even an exact repeating pattern, but it's very faint. I really like that. Three. Hello, spring. I like that card. Today. Selfie fail. I definitely could probably use that. Oops. All right. I like that card. It's very bold and black and white, but I could see framing it with um, like a photo. This is spring. Ooh, I really like that. I like the watercolor dots. So cute. Go into the world and do good. I really like that. I like that spring sentiment. We got one like that in the fall and it said harvest, so I really like that. So lucky for St. Patrick's Day. A little blue, um, I don't know, kind of pattern. Meh. And this is one of my favorite cards. I had seen this online. Yes, I just really like that. So I will say I do like more of the cards than I expected to. Like, I don't know. Like I said, I just don't love this kit as a whole. But... You know, I do still like it. I don't love it. Um, but I'm excited to use it because I'm getting ready to do my February um, project life. So I will make sure to use my March kit and my February kit for my February project life. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it. I know this is kind of a long one with all the extra goodies that I had this month. But I was super excited to share it with you guys. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. You guys don't know how much I appreciate it. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And make sure to hit the subscribe button so you see more videos like this soon. I will see you guys again soon. Bye.